Hi there. All right, this is video number three, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to add expert advisors. It's the same way as we added custom indicators, but the only difference is that we place the file into a different folder. All right, so if we go back to the MetaTrader um, installation folder, then navigate into the experts folder. All right, and these four files here come default. Well, these five come default with the installation. All right, this one here is a pip sniffer robot. It's my um, robot that I had designed for me uh, many, many years ago and still works to this current day. Well, it has its moments, but you know. Um, so go, go ahead and uh, assuming that you have, um, you know, a 4x robot to use, go ahead and double click on it and it will open up a window and you will see like, all of this code stuff on there all right then go ahead and click on compile and then you can navigate back to your train station and you scroll over to the navigator area and you'll see expert advisors here and there is my pip sniffer robot now if you use um, if you say like if I was to give you this um, pip sniffer robot but I gave you the ex4 file oh, you can see now the ex4 file is there Okay, you will not see a blue icon there. You'll see a grayed out icon. All right, and that's just basically to let you know that you can't edit that file. All right, but there is software out there that does allow you to um, uh, basically. I mean, it's happened to me many times. I've lost the MQ4 file, um, so I've had to get some software that allows me to decompile the EX4 file. All right. Unfortunately, that's you know it's just one of the things that you have to take with the trade when you're creating robots. But there is a another solution, a more expensive solution, and that is to host your forex robots on a server, okay, and then have signals delivered to the customer um, that way, so they don't have to um, you know they can't steal all of your work. All right. Now I've got to give you a warning when you use expert advisors. Now the first thing before I get into the warnings is there's an expert advisors button at the top here. All right, and by default, don't ask me why, but it's it's activated by default, which I think is careless. All right, make sure it's off, and when you want to use it, you go ahead and you drag this onto the chart, and then you click on expert advisors, and then it will load up. Um, but unfortunately, my, my pit sniffer robot doesn't work with this broker for some reason. Um, it only works on a smaller type of account. Um, but for the most part, it works on all, on all of the other brokers. So that's another thing that you need to sort of work out as well when you're creating forex robots is to try and make them work for all um, all of the trading stations out there or you can limit the use of the robot to a specific broker so you can you know maybe get commissions from the broker by having the the customer sign up to the broker so they can use your forex robot and what have you all right now if you already know programming then it will be a good advantage for you to learn this forex industry and i can tell you right now that i've bumped into more than a dozen programmers over the course of the last few years and Few of them have never even tried Forex before, but they have a very wide understanding of programming. They've been tra programming for many, many years. And all they need to know is the concepts behind opening a trade. Okay, That's all they need to know. And, it, and what I'm going to show you is basically is all what you need to know on how to open the trades. And I'm going to show you all the different scenarios on how to open and close a trade or to ignore a trade, which I call filtering out bad trades. All right. Now, if you don't know programming, the um, your best next bet would be to find a friend, all right, or a friend of a friend, so you can work on a joint project. All right. Now, if you're going to hire someone like a professional programmer, you need to understand that coding a forex robot is not easy. Despite what are people say out there, it is not easy. All right. Sometimes a forex robot might work for a month, and then it might not work the next following month. All right. It might work for six months, and then it might not work after that. There was one particular robot that I can um, let you know about that myself was um, working on. It was called FX Price Action, and we've been working on it for like two years. Okay. Um, during the first eight months, it did not make a losing trade. And it was absolutely awesome seeing it work. 
All right, but it was working on the scalping uh, kind of um, trade, and I'll explain what scalping is uh, again a little bit later on. All right, um, but yeah, and then after eight months, it started getting worse, and I was like, I couldn't work out what it was, and then we added in some filters into the system to prevent any possible losing trades um, that might appear, and it got to the point where we added too many filters in there, and it was only making like one trade a week or one trade a day, where before it was making anywhere between um, 20 and 50 trades a day. All right. So it's very, very monotonous, it's very tiresome, and if you're going to um, choose a Forex robot, then you really need to go with the companies that are, you know, um, that they really care about your success, so that they're not just after your money when they, you know, to, to pr promote these Forex robots. Now, there are nice people out there, there are people that do want to share the wealth, because um, you do get people that come across and question saying, well, look, you know, if you're making all this money with the Forex robots, why are you selling it at like $67 or $97 or $147? Why aren't you keeping it for yourself? Truth of the matter is most of them out there don't trade their own Forex robots. And um, well, I think we'll actually do another section about Forex robots in the videos up, up and coming so you can get a, a more understanding of what's going on. All right, but anyway, so that's how we go ahead and add the... And custom forex indicators and the expert advisors all right so until then i will see you very soon in the next video take care see you soon bye for now